straight with your body, but I'll just put it there because I use them a lot. So you want to go onto both of them, and then go onto force, and then if you put um, the force to about ten, and then. So if I change my spline, they will not be like touching. So say if I put the count up, if I go to clone an object, I'll put it to about 200. And then I'll play it again. So they're not like touching it if you know what I mean they're not going to be like inside each other so if I just give you an example of I use this kind of effect if I just load up this see at the start the cherries fly and then they go into the spline effector which is what we've basically done here apart from I view the cylinder and the cylinder is out off the screen and then they just fly into this and then bam goes into present um, if you want a tutorial for this then you go head over to Grayscale Grillers page and he's got a tutorial over an hour long though guys so it will take a while to do took me about the whole weekend to figure out most of it really so that's what you want to do really I'm just gonna move my text up a little bit so if I if you just like if I get my cube if I move it say Oh, that's the wrong thing. I'll move it. Oh. I'm just going to lower the count, actually. I'm going to put the count of the clone object to... Um... I'll put it as 1.30, that'll be good enough. And I'll put render instances on as well. So then, as I said before, cube, now I'll move it <laughs> out of the scene. Yeah, so then say if I put the Exploring effect of strength will be zero. And then keyframe it here. Control click on the strength. And then go to 90. And then go all the way to 100%. Control click. And then if I play, they will go over to the text. This is, oh, uh, yeah. I'll just move this camera through to here actually. I'll just give you a run over for that. So you get the idea. Um, and so that's basically the tutorial and if you want to light the scene give it some shadows realistic then you could just add some lights and put them around and you know and or you could get the studio pack Gracie Algrida or light pack whichever one so you could add a overhead softbox or studio rig which I'll, I'll add a studio rig actually and then I'll add 
No, I'll add a gradient one actually. Gradient, and I'll use this one. Drag that into there. And then the reflections. So I'll just. Um, the reflections will be. If I just go into the, this and turn on see my camera. I'll just add a global illumination for you. So you can see what it'll look like. And I'll give it some real good lights. Just creating the skylights because what I do like to do is use sky sampler global illumination which is a lot quicker but it gives a very good effect. So as you can see the light is already showing up for the gradient and if you look closely on this you'll have little shades of the gradient colours down here. See so just there. So that's the tutorial and I've got enough time. Yeah I've now enough got enough time so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete all this and then I will drag in my Where's my cherry? Those. Now this is what the cherry is. Now see the amount of stuff that is here. That's how long it takes. That's all the stuff. And if I just play this for you. So yeah, these are all the cherries. This is the cherry. That's what the cherry is. Sweep nerves and silent arc duplicated on the two spheres. So um See if I modelled all the cherries myself and well that's it guys. See ya. Pain is deep. A silent sleeper, you won't hear a pee.